let's jump into another example. So the next one will be continuous data. So we can get into this definition. Yeah. So continuous data, we're going to use this new symbol, read as less through less than, which is weird. So let me just show you once we get into the example. Um, so if we looked at duration of labor, so like labor for having a baby, in hours, um, we have 28 pregnant women in our sample, and we recorded how long their labor was, and we're gonna make a group data table. So it's gonna be slightly different, and I'll show you why in a second. So first, our variable is the duration of the labor. All right, that's what varies from person to person. That's what we're measuring, that's our output, right? What varies from person to person. And the difference in this one compared to the previous example is that the data is continuous. Right? Labor doesn't have to be a full exact hour. It could be a half hour, right? It could be 15 minutes, right? Um, it doesn't jump from hour one to hour two to hour three. There's no gaps. It's continuous. So rather than saying zero through five and then five, um, oops, zero through five and then jumping to six, um, there's like gaps in between five and six that need to be included. So we're gonna do zero through five, and then we're gonna do five through 10. And then what the symbol tells me is it tells me through or less than. So really this first column is really only zero through 4.9999999. As close as we can possibly get to five, but five's just not quite included. The next one would be five through like 9.99999, right? almost to 10, right? As close as we can get to 10 as possible, but 10 is really gonna be in the next group. So 10 through 15. And we're gonna go by fives again, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then 30 to 35. So through less than means we get almost to that last number, but we don't quite make it. So if I saw the, nu the number five in my raw data, right? This is my raw data above. Five would go in this group. So let's go ahead and count frequencies. And then we'll do relative frequency. So I'll color code it again. So zero through five, it looks like I only found one. Let's confirm that. And that would be someone who had a labor of only 3.3 hours. Um, let's do five through 10. So five is included, 10 is not. Um, so 6.5 would be in between, 7.2, 8.9, 9.3, 8 8.8, 8. let's see, any more? Yeah, 7.9 and 8. Hopefully that's all of them. Looks like I got 7. If I missed one, we'll catch it at the end when we look at the total. Um, 4 for 10 through 15, let's check that out. So 10.6, 11.1, 11 .1. I like to highlight them too, um, because I think it helps me make sure I get them all. So 14.6, 15 will not be included. 15 goes in the next group. So the next one, 15, 15.9, 16.5, 18.2, 19 19.3, right? This is 15 through 20. Um, what else? 19.8, right? Just go in whatever order you see them. You should get nine of them. All right, let's jump down. 20 through 25, we haven't done. So 20.2, 24.7, 21.2, 20 and then we have two more down here. So it looks like there's five of them. And then we'll just check the last two. 25 through 29, we have a 27, and then looks like we have one in this category. So it looks like I got all of them, but let's just make sure they add up to 28, right? Because there were 28 in the sample. Perfect, we got 28. All right, let's go ahead and do relative frequency. So again, remember relative frequency? is frequency divided by total. So that first one was one divided by 28. And we'll do four decimal places. So 0 0.0357. Next one will be seven divided by 28. And then it's just 0 0.25. 0 0.25 
but just to be consistent, it makes the table look nicer, I'll add two zeros, right? 0.2500, it's the same thing. Um, we'll check the next two, four divided by 28, looks good, right? One, four, two, eight, five would go up to two, nine. Nine divided by 28 for the next row. Cool, um, let's do the next one, five through 28, I haven't done for you. Five out of 28. 0.178, and then I'm gonna go up to six because of the seven. And then you, the last two should be the same because they're both one out of 28. Perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and add them up and just make sure they add up to close to one. Um, it might be slightly off due to rounding, uh, but should be very, very close to one. Easy to make typos. And I got exactly one this time, so perfect. And then last one was midpoint. So the first one, midpoint. Um, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Zero through five, so we do zero plus five and divide by two. Right, second one would be five plus 10. Those are my two endpoints. Um, hit enter, then divide by two, and you get 7.5. Right, it is incorrect to type everything at once because um, then the calculator is not dividing everything. So five plus 10 divided by two, the calculator is only dividing the 10. So that would be incorrect. So 10 plus 15, I'm just going to do the middle two quick because I already did them. Enter, divide by 2. 15 plus 20, enter, divide by 2. Cool, so those look good. Let's jump to 20 through 25. Add them up, divide by 2 because we're finding like the middle of them. And those are my midpoints. You'll notice the table goes by fives and the midpoints actually also go by fives. So there is a link between them. So now that we have a table with nice, with that's easier to read, um, let's use the table to answer a question, um, right? The raw data is really hard to find patterns, but maybe we can find patterns a little bit better. Um, so maybe someone's curious what percentage of the women had labor that lasted less than 20 hours. So I'm gonna to go to the table. Less than 20 would be at 20 and less than would be above. So I'm gonna take all of these frequencies and I'm gonna add them up. So those would be everyone that had labor less than 20. So 21 women had labor less than 20 hours. So that tells me the number of women, and if we want to find a percent, maybe it's been a while, but percents are out of totals. So we're going to go ahead and divide by the total, which was 28. So 21 divided by 28 gives me 0.75. This is called a proportion, which we'll get into later, but those are decimal forms. And if we don't remember how to convert, we move the decimal two to the right, one, two, and that would be... 75%. So let me know if you have any questions. We have a few more videos for this section.